Hello hikers, today we're going to be hiking Mount Rubidoux in Riverside. Mount Rubidoux is a popular trail, there's lots of people on it. It's not too hard, it's great for the casual hiker, but we're just going to show you where to park, how to get up there, and the view at the top. So I hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you at the top. As you're heading up to Mount Rubidoux, you will be able to see the entire mountain from the street. That's the entire mountain. You're going to be headed in from the north, so you're heading in south into this parking lot. This parking lot is at Mount Rubidoux Park. It's free to park, so you just go in there, grab a spot, and then start walking up north. When you're just directly north of that parking lot is this sidewalk. You're gonna be heading up the sidewalk not too long until you reach the entryway to the trail up to the top of the mountain. So you will see this sign right here. That's the entryway to the mountain and the trail to get up there. And you'll see this little entryway right here then you just walk up towards this thing up to the left there'll be a trail right there and here is the sign you could pause it to see what all the rules are and you just turn right here and boom this is the entryway and there's another sign right here that if you want to see it what the rules are you could just pause it right there but as we go along right after those signs it's a you know it's paved uh trail so the whole entire thing's paved and you just walk up the trail and you're just walking up the left side there is a right side and a left side, but we're walking up the left, and this is the first view you get. It's pretty right when you first get in there. There's the trail, and you just keep walking up. You're going to be making a loop around the, the mountain, so now you're on the opposite side of where we came in at. So this is the other side, the view, and you just keep walking there, and you'll see the first view of the cross right there. That's the main attraction right there, the cross. And as you keep walking there, there'll also be a little spot where you can look, a lookout spot right there. But you're going to come to this conjunction. Um, you're just going to make a little UE right here and then go up the, the trail here, right? So that's what you're going to do. And then right before you get up to the top, you're going to see this cool little bridge that was made a long time ago. There's a little plaque on it and it says it was made in 1934. You could pause and read. But that's when you know you're pretty much at the top. It's about a mile or so in. And when you get up to here, this is the top of the mountain. So this is the top of the view. You're looking back towards um, to the west right there. And you can see the cross as you're going up to it. So now you're pretty much up there, just a few more steps. And as you get up there, this is what it looks like. These steps are kind of big. So you could go to the right there if you want a little bit smaller steps to get up. But these steps are pretty steep, so it's kind of hard for some people to get up there. So, like I said, there's some on the right that are a little bit easier for if you have bad knees or something. But yeah, you just crawl up these steps, and you're going to be heading up towards the top right here at the cross, which is a cool view. There's usually a lot of people up here, so I got here a little early, so there's not as many people. There's a lot of people usually sitting up there on the cross or you know down at the base of the cross, so it's kind of hard to get you know, pictures with nobody on it usually. But yeah, this is what it looks like. There's some plaques up there on the wall, on the rocks, embedded in the rocks there. And yeah, so now you just keep walking up. This is pretty, you know, it's not too steep at all right here. Bunch of little rocks. And as you can see, there's a couple of people just enjoying the, the nice morning sun, chilling underneath the cross. This is on a Sunday, so it's even a little bit better because I'm under a cross on a Sunday. But as you go up, take a view. Let's, there's another little plaque there. So this was dedicated right there in April 1907. That's a very old plaque. And then there you go. There's the big old cross. What a good view right there. And then now we're going to do a little 360 view of the whole entire view. That's looking northwest there. Then we go west. And then there's south. We're looking south there. And then you're going into the sun on the east. And there's the cross again, and then back towards the north. And then that's the hike all the way up to the top there. And then there's the flag just off in the distance. Okay, so we're here at the top. Got the cross right here. Got the flag over there, the beautiful view. Nice morning. Not too many people up here this morning. It's still kind of early. It's before 8 o'clock. This gets packed later on. There's actually two ways. I went the left way, but you could go the right way, which is a little bit longer. But I'm with the left way. It's easier, more steep, but it's a lot shorter to get up here. I'm going to take the long way down so you guys can see that view. But here's the beautiful view at the top of Riverside and the rest of the Inland Empire.
It was a great little hike. It took me about a little over a mile to get up going the left way. We'll see how much and get the total miles at the end. See you at the bottom. The flag right there as we come up to the flag. There's another little plaque that talks about what it is. So there's a lot of little plaques on the way that you can read and look at the history of this mountain. It's, a lot of this stuff is pretty old there. And look at that beautiful view of the American flag. God bless America. And as you look over into the sunset, just a nice little beautiful view of the morning view. Now, as you go back down, we made a U-turn going towards that way, but you can also go up the back way. There's one big loop around the whole mountain. If you go up to the left there, it just goes around back up to the top where you were just at. So it's like a, a one little smaller loop. But if you go underneath this, this will send you back towards the beginning of the trailhead. Like, so you want to go underneath that bridge there to get back. And as you can see there, you go around to the left there was Santa Ana River. And as you can see, now we're wrapping around the north side. We came up the south side of the mountain, and now you're at the north side. So now when you're getting back down here, see, you can make a left there. This is at the very bottom, but that goes down you know, farther north from where we came. But you want to go this way. At the, when you go around the, the north, north side there because see like that's where we came in at through this one But we're coming down the other side and this is exactly where we came in at this is the same way right there This is the end of it as you can see if you remember this from the beginning of the video and you just make a right Out there and boom you're heading back down that sidewalk and you'll be okay. done. Okay, everybody. That was the hike I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you guys get out there and do some more hiking Check out the Rubido, Mountain Rubido, if you're in the area. It's a pretty cool hike, just something casual you could do. Take a friend out here, enjoy the trails, get prepared for the bigger hikes as well. But if you like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps out other people to see the videos so we get more hikers out on the trails and more active and out there getting healthy. So see you guys in the next video. Peace out.